Hey, good afternoon, everybody. Lawrence Michael, Operations Manager for Air Quality Remediation, making another remediation video. Uh, those of you that saw my last night video from 11 o'clock at, uh, at night knew that we finished a basement remediation project, and I said in that video that we were starting a new remediation project in a church, so here we are. Um, this is the end of day one. I have to go to another project now to check up and touch up a couple things so that one can be done. But I just wanted to show at the end of day one what we had going on. So we always build our containment. So we have one containment door here that's blocking off the main entrance, so the main uh, foyer area. And then we have another containment door right here that goes into like uh, the office areas of the church and then we have another containment door over here which is a side exit so we have this entire area blocked off we have our air scrubbers set up for our negative air pressure um, the situation in this church was a roof leak that caused mold growth on the drop ceiling tiles as well as some drywall ceiling. So we can see here on this drywall ceiling and then down this wall. And I can try to give a view on the side so we can see right here where it's kind of leaking down through the drop ceiling tiles onto this drywall and this mold all here on this drywall and then going down the wall here and then down the wall here it's kind of hard to point backwards and upside down but you guys can see what's going on this is after uh, we built our containment set up negative air pressure wire brushed and HEPA vacuumed and we stopped, damn it really is hard to point backwards and upside down, so so we stopped right, shoot this is, this is hard, so alright, we stopped right here so that you guys could see uh, what it looks like, because this, like this mold was here, it was all the way throughout this drywall down to about here. So I wanted to show you guys at a stopping point what it looks like after the wire brushing's done, the HEPA vacuuming's done, and the wiping is done with an antimicrobial solution. So this is what it looked like before, this is what it looks like after. Now we still have to do the same process down the rest of this drywall, on the drop ceiling tiles, and then down the wall. And then we have to encapsulate everything with the antimicrobial sealer, just like we always do to prevent new mold growth from occurring to get up to this 22 feet, 24 feet, depending on where we're working. We have our man lift, so we uh, have our fall protection, fall prevention system, so our harnesses and retractable lanyards as we go up in the man lift to reach the ceiling. It kind of uh, made it harder because in this church, like most churches, it goes down, there's a slope down to the actual, um, it's not called a stage, not a podium either. Um, I'm, I'm sorry, those of you out there that go to church, you know, every week you'll be able to tell me, and I'm sure you're in the comments right now writing, and I'm, I'm sorry, I can't think of the word for it, but it slopes downhill to this area where the pastor or preacher, uh, you know, says his sermon. So because of that, we have to elevate one side of the man lift to be able to be uh, level when we go up, so that way there's no risk of falling and things like that. But I just wanted to show you what it looked like after we were about halfway done so you could see a clear line of what was done before and after. And then I'll make another video just like I always do on the last day after we finish, you know, doing our whole process, encapsulating everything, and then decontaminating everything that's in this room. So walls, ceilings, pews, floor, carpets, clean everything from back to front all the way through. So I'll make a video uh, at, the end, at the end of the day Friday so you guys can see all that. And then we start a new project on Monday. So it's a never ending cycle. Um, we deal with all types of indoor air quality issues and it's always something different. 
We desperately need more employees. Uh, we're continuing to expand. There's always more work. So if anybody out there is watching the videos and you're looking for work and you're interested in a field that's uh, always doing something different, um, it's not like a manufacturing facility where you do the same thing day in and day out all day. Indoor air quality is a great field to be in. It's, it's definitely a field that's in demand. You're always doing something different, so it keeps things interesting. You're always learning something new, so it, it's definitely a good field to be in. So those of you out there, if you're watching this video and you're in the Delaware area, definitely give us a call. Uh, we definitely need you know more employees. So. Those of you out there that have any indoor air quality concerns, definitely give us a call. Check us out on any of our social media platforms. Check out our website. Uh, give us a call anytime. We're on call 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And as always, I appreciate everybody watching. Thank you for your time, and we'll see you on the next video.